The labor movement has been the haven for the dispossessed, the despised, the neglected, the downtrodden, the poor. A quote from A. Philip Randolph. Take a minute to imagine with me. You are a worker at an Amazon warehouse. This morning you got word that your boss got COVID-19. That is the fifth person you know from the warehouse to have contracted the virus. You are touching packages all day, piling them into delivery trucks. Those boxes have been handled by many before you. You worry that because you don't have gloves, you'll contract the virus too. But you can't afford to. You have a pregnant wife at home. What would you choose if you were forced to pick between putting your family at risk for COVID-19 in order to keep food on the table? Or would you risk an economic fallout in, an, in order to ensure the health of your family? The trillion dollar company, that is Amazon, withheld information on the number of COVID-19 cases from workers until enough left sick that it became noticeable. Chris Smalls, a warehouse worker, began to organize a protest against the company for better personal protective equipment and a real count of COVID-19 cases. Instead, he was fired. He was fired because he dared to tell the truth. He dared to look the mammoth, that is Amazon, in the eyes and tell them that they had failed their workers and its community. This begs the question, is there something that could have prevented this? Yes, it's a wonderful thing called a union. Amazon has refused to unionize its workers and is known for firing workers who even attempt to bring up the topic. But unionizing Amazon workers would undoubtedly improve the company as unions are associated with higher productivity, lower employee turnover, improved workplace communication, and a better trained workforce. To make this dream a reality, your local Amazon workers need your support. Creating a union is going to take more than one strike. It is going to need constant support from the community in order for the workers to continue organizing. Let us not forget that during the labor movement of the late 1800s, early 1900s, people had to die in order for the calls of unionization to even be considered. My message to you is to reach out to your local Amazon workers and let them know that they have your support whether that's by signing a petition or by other means. Lastly, if you think unionization is a bad thing, let me remind you what unions have given us. They are responsible for giving us the weekend, social security, minimum wage, anti-discrimination laws, overtime pay, and they ended child labor, to name a few. I can guarantee that you've benefited from at least three of these things. The 650,000 workers at Amazon deserve the same.